Once again, I'm back. This is my <laughs> this is my last video for the day. But um, I was uh at work folding sheets and towels and all that, and I was just joking around, talking to myself like a crazy person. Um, well yeah, this is gonna be called Dude. I don't know if you're ready, but I'm quite sure you'll laugh. Hey man, um, so this is my new video, um, I've had a prefill fairly, fairly well day, um, just, uh, you know, I went to work, dude, and <laughs> it was pretty cool, man, and, um, it's just like, eh, I'm just ready to quit training, because, you know, I, I love, I love the job already, but, you know, dude, it's just like, Man, do I have to get up that early in the morning? Like, oh, gosh. Who wants to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning just to go to work? Matter of fact, I get up every morning at 6 o'clock. And I, I try to make it to work on time, you know, so that I won't get fired, you know? I, I don't got time to get fired. I don't like looking for a job because it, it takes forever to get one. But, um, yeah. You know, today I found out some guy was talking shit about me or whatever, man. And if you're watching my video, man, fuck off, dude. Like, I don't even care you, about you, man. Like, you, you're paying too much attention to me. Are you mad or something? What what, what did I do to you? I don't deserve this kind of crap, man. Like, you, you're tripping, dude. Like, I should call my, my boy Aquantus and have him shoot you, man. He's black, dude, you know. <laughs> he, he has stuff like that. He can do that, man. Like, you know... I don't appreciate that, but I'm not going to get mad on my video because I love all my subscribers, you know, and and, and I, I just want to make sure everybody's okay, but I, I don't like people talking shit about me. If you're going to be fake, if you're going to talk shit, then say it to my face, dude. Like, say it to my freaking face. But, you know, yeah, um, I've been, you know, you know, talking to my girlfriend a lot lately, you know, because I'm just trying to show her that I really care about her, man. And, uh, and that I love her, dude. Like, I love her so much, man. Like, you know, I, I, yeah, I did some, some bad things, but I just want to show her, dude. Like, I love her, man. I love her to death, man. I'll, I'll marry her, man. I'll have kids with her, man. And I'll do whatever, dude. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, she asked me to lick the carpet, <laughs> to lick the ground, dude. Lick the sidewalk or something, man. I'd shoot. I'd be like, hey, how long you want me to lick it for? I don't mind. Just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. But you know, I love the girl, man. She's she's a wonderful, a, a wonderful, a wonderful girl. Like, dude, you don't even know, man. Like, she's she's so awesome to me, dude. Like, she's she's great, man. Like, you know, I. I I was I needed help and everything. She would you know help me out. She'd give me a little money here, a little money there. Hey baby, you need gas? Yeah. You know I I don't have any money right now. Can you can I borrow it from you? I'll pay. I promise I'll pay you back, babe. Like I I promise. You know she'll she'll give me money. You know she'll just she'll just laugh with me and and cry with me. She's a a freaking great woman, dude. Like you don't even know, man. Like if you don't have a great woman like that. You need to find one, dude. Like, they're so great. Like, I don't understand why you are even sitting around like you don't need a woman like that, man. Like, you know, and all those amazing women out there, I I'm so appreciative of. I, I thank you, man. Like, dude, you're so great. You're so awesome. But, um, yeah, you know, during this whole, you know, I'm mad at you phase that my girlfriend was having, you know... She was talking to these guys, well, not talking, just associating herself with these dudes, man, they're, that she works with. They're like 30-something-odd years old, and they're like little kids. They're like, they're in middle school, man. Like, as soon as she got there, they hopped on her like they hadn't seen a woman in like 40 years, dude. Like, they both gave her numbers and, you know, was trying to talk to her all the time. You know, this one guy she would go work out with every night at his house, and I didn't really like that dude, but... You know, I'm like, well, shit, I messed up, and I can't be mad if she's trying to occupy herself with all kinds of stuff just to not think about me. So, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, it's cool, it's fine, you know, as long as you're not doing anything with the guy, okay, cool, whatever. 
And then this other guy, man, it's, it's so funny, dude. Like, <laughs> this guy, you know, she didn't want to hang out with him because he's so arrogant. He thinks his money is going to buy him everything, buy a woman for him and all that. But remember, this guy is 30-some-odd years old. She went to this dude's house just to, you know, chill or whatever. And the dude asked to have sex, man. Like, you know, are you, like, you know, 15 still in, in, in high school and your parents aren't home and this girl comes over and, and you like, hey, you know, can we have sex? You know, I don't get this opportunity too much, but, you know, my parents aren't home. They're going to be gone for a while. You want to have sex, man? Like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're fucking 30 some odd years old, man. Like, you can't find women your age to fuck. I mean, come on, dude. Like, you just met this girl. Why in the world would she want to fuck you? Like, I don't understand. Are you are you still in middle school? Maybe maybe just starting high school? I don't know, dude. Like, you know, the first time you, you hang out with this girl, oh, I want to have sex. You want to have sex? I mean, it's cool if you don't, but, you know, I would really like to because you're at my house and everything. My parents aren't here. And I'm like, dude, what the hell? Like, I'm not understanding. Then this guy, Andre, you know, he's, I, I guess he may be, may be a cool guy, dude, but... This dude is like, uh, I don't know, 30-something, still trying to get his life together, man, like, you know, and he, he, he recently got mad at my girl, you know, for not answering his calls and everything, and it's just like, what in the hell, are you two, are you eight, like, what in the world, just because a girl gives you a little attention doesn't mean you own them, she should always answer your phone calls, she should always talk to you whenever, she should, you know, always be there for you man like you just met this girl and you only met her because you work with her like where's your game man did you lose it playing call of duty and getting your ass kicked dude like i don't understand man like I, <laughs> you have no game you can't get a woman your age like what's going on are you ugly i mean you know i know stefan is a fucking ugly dude man like he looked like he's been in a battle with somebody he was using his fist and somebody was using a freaking sword, dude. Like, somebody cut his ass up, man. But, you know, this this Andre guy, you know, it's, he's still trying to get his life together. My, that's what my girl said, you know. And he's a cool dude. He's, he's a big, like, you know, football type looking dude. But I'm like, man, do you really expect her to answer your calls all the time? And then you're going to fuss and fight with Stefan, who you also work with, you know, about my girl like for one she's not entertaining you guys like that like what the fuck dude like you know it shouldn't even be like that like okay it should be like okay well cool you know we're just friends you know maybe not even friends just associates at the moment because you barely know anything about each other but you're gonna call this dude and fuss about hey man don't talk to her dude I'm, you're jealous man you're just mad cuz I get more time with her dude and I'm just like uh Come on, dude. Come on, man. Like, who the fuck wants that? You're 30 some odd years old, and you two guys are fussing like little girls over a doll that's in the sandbox. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, you know, I, I, I don't. It's drama. This is high school stuff, man. Who fusses over girls, and you're like 30 some odd years old? Now, yeah, my granted, my, my lady is, she's a beautiful girl, man. Like, she's amazing. You know, she's wonderful, she's sweet, she's very loving and caring. She'll do anything for anybody if she sees the, the need for it. But um, you're not going to be causing drama at work and with coworkers over my girl, man. Like, you're 30. I think you should be a little more mature than that. But, you know, I'm not going to stay on that. These two guys are 30 some odd years old. And she decided not to really associate herself with those guys because it's like, it's high school drama. Who the hell wants that? I just started working here, like, a week ago, and you guys get my number and everything, you know. I, I kindly talk to you guys, and then, oh, well, don't talk to her, dude. It's my girl, man. I'm, you're just fucking jealous, dude. And I'm just like, ugh, what the hell? Anywho... I'm going to keep my girl, I'm going to keep my job, I'm going to keep my education, I'm going to keep my brains, and I'm going to be cool, dude. Like, you know, I love you guys for watching me, and ranting and stuff, and, and, you know, just subscribe to me and, and come back, dude. Like, you know, I love you guys. Just hit me on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Keyshell, I love you, baby.